Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1368. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great question from Sukanya at YouTube. This person asks, how do I make a formula to sum Amazon and Google under each region? Now, really, the trick's going to be we have three conditions or criteria, and we have to apply all conditions to each line in our data set in order to determine if the sales number in the sales column is one that we should be adding. Now, part of the difficulty for people when they get to a logical construction like this is that in English, we actually do say Amazon and Google under each region. So that means when we get to the customer column, that one cell containing Google actually has to have two criteria applied to it. We have to ask the question, is this Amazon or is this Google? Notice we cannot ask it as an and logical test. I can't ask, hey, are you Amazon and Google? Because it'll always be false. In this column, we're only allowed one customer for each record. So really, the complication comes from we ask it as an AND question, but really the logic that has to be applied is OR. Then when we get to region, if we're looking for West, we have to say Amazon or Google. AND is the item entered in the region column for this record equal to West. Now, the other complication comes from the sum ifs function itself. Now, the way sum ifs is set up is it does an and logical test. Now, we have multiple arguments here. Sum range, that's always going to be the numbers you potentially want to add. We're going to highlight the whole column, even though in the end result we will not add all of them. We'll add just some of them. I have to hit the F4 key to lock that range. Now, comma and criteria range, we have two ranges we're looking at. I'm going to start with the region. So I go over and I highlight the entire region column. I need to lock this with the F4 key. Now, notice it says criteria range 1. When I type a comma to get to the third argument, it says criteria 1. That means the single condition I need to look for in that criteria range 1 column. So I'm going to select West. Now, that's a relative cell reference. As we copy down, that will properly move to each new region. Now, comma, criteria 2 range. Now, we're going to highlight the customer, but this is where the complication comes in for most people. We have to hit F4 to lock that also. This is our second criteria range. As soon as you enter more than one criteria range and associated criteria, you're doing an AND logical test. So notice we highlighted customer, comma. Well, that argument's expecting a single item. So what most people do is they put Amazon, comma, and then they continue on, entering customer column in again, F4, comma, and then for criteria 3, I select Google. This will never work. We have three criteria, yes, but we can't make it to that third criteria 3 argument because this is impossible. There's no record there that has West, Region, and Customer Amazon, and Customer Google. So the trick to some ifs when you have AND and OR logical test is we're going to get rid of criteria range 3 and criteria 3. We have our criteria range listed once for customer, but watch this. We're actually allowed in criteria 2 argument to enter more than one customer. Now I need to hit F4 to lock this. But look at that. Some ifs will totally know to do an OR logical test when we enter more than one item into any one of our criteria ranges. Now again, the problem is if you go to help for some ifs, it doesn't tell you this at all. Really, that argument is expecting a single criteria. As soon as we put more than one criteria, like we did with Amazon and Google, that tells the sum ifs 
to spit out multiple answers. We gave it two conditions or criteria. Some ifs will now spit out two answers. That means it will spit out an answer for West and Amazon or West and Google. Let's just prove that to ourselves. Let's come to the end, close parentheses. If we hit Enter, it will not give us the right answer because some ifs is spitting out two answers. So I want to put this back in edit mode, highlight the entire formula, and hit the F9 key to evaluate this. And sure enough, some ifs totally obeyed us. It gave us two answers, one for West and Amazon, the other one for West and Google. Now, what do we need to do? Our goal is to add. We want to control Z to undo that evaluation. Now, we can just use the sum function to add. The problem with using the sum function is we would have to use a special keystroke to get this formula to calculate correctly. Now, the reason it's a special kind of keystroke and special kind of formula is when we put multiple items here into that argument, this is called a function argument array operation. Why the word array? Well, there's an array of items we put there that cause the sum ifs to spit out an array of answers. So we're not going to use the sum function because we want to avoid having to do some special keystroke. There's already a built-in function called sum product. So sum product open parentheses and then our sum ifs. That function will add the results from an array operation without any special keystroke. Now, normally, some product does something else. It takes all these arrays. It multiplies doing the product part and then adds. But anytime you have an array operation that you're wanting to add, some product is the function to use. Because all we do is put some ifs inside of some product, close parentheses, control enter, and it calculates the correct answer. I can double click and send this down to copy it all the way down. Go to the last cell, F2, to check all of our cell references. And that is how you can get some ifs to some Amazon and Google under region, or of course, properly Amazon or Google under a particular region. All right, that was a little fun with some ifs and some product to do and and or logical test adding. We'll see you next video.